Hello everyone, this is Tam. Thanks for tuning in. We're doing a video series where we go over all the accessories we have for a specific camera. Um, this here is the Nikon D500 and we're gonna go through all the accessories for the body and for the optional battery pack, the MBD-17. So we're gonna start with the base plate, go through all the accessories for the base plate like the handle and some port adapters. Then we're gonna go with the L bracket, accessories for L bracket, uh, show you the strap port, and then we're gonna finish off on this awesome boomerang flash bracket. All right, well, let's tune in. So this here is the Nikon D500. We have the two L brackets, one for the D500 with the optional battery pack, and one for the, uh, the D500 body, okay? Let's talk about the major differences between the body and the L bracket for the grip, okay? As you obviously noticed, the camera with the grip attached is much larger and so is the L bracket, okay? If you look on the side here, the body L bracket is much smaller because it doesn't have to accommodate all that height, okay? Also, the gripped one has uh, a cutout here for easy battery access, okay? So you can swap the battery at any time, okay, without taking the bracket off, okay? Now, they do share most of the major features, okay? Th these are the major differences here in size. Now, for the bottom plates, uh, there's also a difference, and the plate for the bottom of the camera will not fit the grip. Notice how much wider the grip is compared to the camera. So, uh, with the built-in anti-rotation, there's significant difference, uh, so we had to develop two distinct plates, okay? All right, going from the top, um, the tops are pretty much identical. What we have here are anti-rotation pins and a quarter 20 thread. Uh, the anti-rotation pins, I'll show you later, they can be used with accessories. Uh, the magnet here is used for storing an Allen wrench, okay? You can pop one in here as well. Okay, so that just goes in, and then you quickly take it off. On the sides here, we have we have two quarter twenty threads. Okay, if you can see that. Okay, this is better now. Okay, and then you have a stop screw. Um, these little holes here between the quarter twenties, those are used for anti-rotation. For example, with our uh, cold shoes. Okay. And then we have another stop screw here. On the bottom, we have two sets of countersunk screws, okay? Um, this set here holds this stainless steel rod with the vertical part, and these two hold the rod with the, uh, with the bottom part, okay? Uh, on the gripped version, we also have quarter 20 threads for additional accessories, okay? You can put in a strap or like a something for um, you know additional accessory like um, like uh, like the sphere we have for the holster okay also we have a quarter 20s here um, these are used for um, you know if you want to attach like maybe some third-party plates or attach some other tripod plates here we have a strap port here okay uh, strap port is for our strap uh, plug system and then we have stop screws okay uh, these here lips are for anti-rotation and also this plate has a pin inside for anti-rotation. Also, we can equip our plates with a strap loop. Uh, the strap loop standard on the L brackets, optional on just the bottom plates. However, with the D500, with the Nikon designing a battery sideways, the strap loop will block the battery. Okay, that's kind of unfortunate, okay? Now, um, the plates we used for the D500 are just a modified version of uh, the D850 plate. So this is a modified version of the D850, that's why it shows the D850. Um, we were gonna develop a custom plate for the D500, but now it's been so long, we actually just thought um, using the D850 L part is sufficient. Uh, just notice a, a small gap here, okay? It adheres to the body, but these plates don't touch, uh, you know, don't touch. So there's a little gap here. 
And that's kind of okay because all of these plates are made for expandability. You just loosen these two screws and they can expand. Um, so when just they retract all the way in, there's a small gap, okay? All right, same with this plate here. You know, you can expand it. You don't want to touch these screws. These screws you pretty much always want to have set. Uh, but sometimes you might have to loosen these screws if it's, um, if it's really tight. If, if the L bracket doesn't loosen up just by uh, releasing these, then you need to loosen these a little bit. Now, uh, on this L bracket, the plate will not separate from the, um, from the rod. It's captive, okay? Now, when you're in shooting position, you need to tighten. Make sure all four of those are tight, okay? That's all there is here, okay? And then it holds it in place, all right? Okay. So, uh, let me show you uh, how I put on... Uh, a cold shoe for example. So this is our standard cold shoe and with that cold shoe we have um, we have anti-rotation pins. Uh, okay these little things here. So you can just pop one in here. Notice I put one right in here um, and then you put your cold shoe on top of it. Cold shoe has two slots so you can choose either or or you can engage with two pins if you mount the cold shoe sideways, okay? So, all right, so let's put it in this way. Uh, what's extremely nice about the anti-rotation, it's that this, this thing's not gonna get loose on you. And, you know, as we all know, uh, loose parts really, really impact our ability to record video, okay? Especially in crucial moments. So something like this is really nice, really solid. This is for here to stay. You can use it for a light, microphone, or a recorder, or whatever else, okay? Another great feature of both of these L brackets is the um, is this little gadget here, cable protector, okay? Looks like this. Now this goes into these two holes here. You can also mount a cold shoe here if you wish. You can mount the cold shoe on the side, okay? So this just mounts like that. All right, so I went ahead and uh, grabbed the cable to show you uh, in full detail. So this is the mini HDMI plug that works with the D500. Uh, so the plug just goes right in here. And then you can route the cable this way. Okay. And you can uh, And you can add that second screw to kind of pinch the cable and hold it in place. Uh, now also if you want, this will actually hold two cables, okay? So let's say you want to hook up a microphone. So you can put in a microphone in here. And then you can hold both of those cables in here. Like nicely separate them. And then put in this second screw. So if you're shooting video or if you tether in a studio, uh, this is an excellent accessory. Also, uh, what you could get on Amazon or wherever, if you hate Amazon, then buy it at B&H. Uh, maybe we'll sell these at some point. It's like these uh, pigtails. You can mount it permanently in here. And then you just connect with the full-size HDMI which is kind of nice. And now this L bracket offers both like a bump protection. So you can't bump into this unless you specifically bump here. Okay. Uh, so this is nice and a snag protection. So you can hold it by the cables, not damaging the port. Okay. Now at this stage though, you're obviously not going to be able to use the Arca because the cables are in the way, unless you use really thin cables and you're able to squeeze that in. Okay. Uh, but I'm using thick cables here. Um, with a little bit of searching, you can find the really thin cables. So advice, uh, my advice is to use as thin of a cable as you can while still the cable is reliable. This is our strap system, okay? And uh, it engages with like a push button. Like it's the same principle as in compression hoses. So it goes right into this hole on the plate. Once again, like these little uh, bearings inside, they contract when you press it and expand once you let go. 
So that latches onto the port on the bottom. Same thing on a on a plate for the grip, okay? Just latches on. So uh, you can buy these on our website, and also we have uh, re retrofit kits if you have an existing strap. You can spin this as much as you want. It's not gonna release. The only way it can release is if you press this button. Now notice we have just a plate now. And with just a plate, we have other accessories we can use. Uh, so one thing we're working on is our uh, belt for our holster, the SH-1. Okay, and with the SH-1, we offer the PAH-1 adapter with the sphere. Now the sphere, what's nice about this PAH-1, it can be mounted in multitude of ways. It just attaches to the side of our plate. Uh, and it has a couple positions. You can mount it this way. Also, you can mount it the reverse way and just move the ball to the other side. You can also mount it on the back, here, or here, okay? Or even this way, or with the ball towards it. So if you can achieve a really cool balance with this. Uh, the way this works, this just locks in here. And then you can have your camera hanging, okay? For ease of this video, I'm not going to demonstrate everything. So that works with this. Also, we have another accessory that's kind of similar and can also work with this ball. And this one also works with our strap system. That just plugs in right here, okay? So this can also mount to the either side of our plate. This side. Or this side. Or in, this, or in the back, okay? Now, uh, this features a uh, built-in strap port, so if you want to weave a strap through this, uh, that's good as well. They both attach uh, just with couple with two side screws. Additional thing you can attach to our bracket plates is the handle, okay? Uh, this handle is going to replace the L bracket, and it just quickly slides into this, and with the thumb screw you can just uh, attach it really nice and quick. All right, so. And the handle on top features quarter 20 with stop screws. So you can mount, uh, for example, a cold shoe on top of this as well. Uh, and also on the bottom here with the handle, we feature the holes for the uh, snack protector. So even with the handle, you can use the snack protection abilities, which is really cool. All right, let's take this off. The BBX Boomerang Flash Bracket. Okay, so the boomerang can attach uh, two ways to the to the camera. The recommended way is using the clamp, since there is a battery access issue if you mount it here. Okay, so it's gonna cover your battery. Although it does have a quick release system with this knob, so you can take it off quickly. But what's required for the EBX to mount are those pins that would normally be mounted to the plate, and that's gonna block the plate. Uh, the battery access anyway. So we do recommend that you install the boomerang onto this clamp. Now I know that's gonna cost a bit extra. Uh, okay, and then uh, the boomerang just slides onto this, then you lock it in place with the knob. And if you need to change the battery, you can just quickly slide it out of place, like so, and put it into optimal position when you're shooting, okay? Uh, you may even be able to find with really thin lenses that it's okay just out of the uh, the battery access zone, okay? Uh, so yeah, just quickly attaches like this. Um, the boomerang also features some quarter 20s as our, does our clamp and the clamp also has the strap port. So you don't lose the strap or uh, ability with the clamp, okay? So that's really cool. I'm gonna take this off now. Ooh, so we've shown you almost everything besides our video cage. Yay! So video cage just slides in on the side here. Um, you need to tighten it with the uh, with the bottom screws. So a video cage can act as a handle. And then we have a top handle here as well. Uh, for more details, you can see our web page. Uh, okay, so that's really cool. 
I'm gonna take that off. So this is our bottom plate. Notice it has the uh, anti-rotation pin, okay? Uh, that matches with this pin here. And that provides really solid anti-rotation and also has the lips on the plate. All right, so let's mount the L bracket with the grip. Alright, now this L bracket uh, consists of, again, two major parts, okay? Now if you notice that it's really hard to pull it out, you gotta loosen all four screws, okay? If you notice that it's really hard to pull out. And then you can release all four screws, okay? You may need to adjust the rods in here, okay? That's all good. All right, um, so notice this L bracket actually is perfectly ma made. It uh, consists of a bottom plate for the MBD-17, which is the grip here, PB MBD-17. And the vertical part it shares with the D850. This part is exactly the same as the D850 gripped version for the MBD-18. So the vertical part you can just buy one if you have a D500 grip and a D850 grip, okay? And you can share it between the two ca cameras. Now, the Nikon grips don't include a strap board, so this is really nice and welcome, doesn't block any batteries. Like I mentioned, you can change the battery at any point. Uh, you can extend the bracket, then lock it in place. Then you can access all the ports you want, okay? And same as the other L bracket, you can mount a cold shoe here. You can mount the snack protection or cold shoes on the side. And it comes with some additional options for mounting here, okay? Uh, we have this magnetic Allen key storage. And also, one thing I haven't mentioned yet, we're working on, well, we actually have this ready is the uh, it's this little multi-tool. It has a flat head and a 532nd uh, hex key. So you can actually use this on your keys to adjust all your screws. Okay, goes right in. You can use it to mount the camera. Okay, so this is a really neat accessory. All right. Um, let me just show you, besides the CS2s, the A10s, the strap, um, let me show you how the handle mounts to this bracket and how it looks. Okay, so we're gonna take these off. And let's mount the handle, okay? Handle just slides right in. Boom, now we got a handle. To build even a more impressive rig, we can get our boomerang flash bracket for the grip. That just slides in right here. Tighten it with the thumb screw. Boom, we're all set. Then we can mount my old and really old Nikon flash. As you guys know, I'm mostly a Nike, uh, Canon guy. And here we go, we built this D500 flash bracket with the, with the handle rig, okay? So that's really cool, really quick. So this is how these would look on a grip. And I tend to mount these accessories forward for better balance with the lens. For this one, we actually have to take off the, uh, the strap loop because it's too wide. Uh, but I think we can squeeze this one in, yeah. Okay, so this can go this way, it can go this way, it can actually go this way. Um, another nice thing about this, it has a, this has a set screw here, so that prevents this little stud here from twisting. Um, so you have a more secure connection with this stud so it's not gonna unscrew on you okay 
come out is here or here. Okay. Um, yeah, so that's really it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you found this video useful, I think you should subscribe to our channel. Uh, we'll have more of these tutorials coming out. Uh, once again, thanks for uh, watching this video and choosing Promedia Gear.